Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the configuration we're going to have to create to allow VS Code to connect to our EC2 instance. So first of all, if you haven't already, head over to the extensions and go ahead and search for SSH. And you should see this remote SSH app here. Go ahead and install that extension. Just like so. All right, perfect. So now that we've done that, you can go ahead and head back to the Explorer. And first thing I want to do is take a look at some example config files. So you should have a file now at your home slash dot ssh slash config. So if I do cat ssh config, just like so, I can see here that I already have two entries. Of course, this is something I've done before. And what we need is we need to provide a host, a host name, which happened to be the same here, and a user that we're going to use to log in. So what we need to do is provide the IP address of our instance on both of these host areas, host and host name, and then we'll utilize Ubuntu for the user. So how are we going to do that? What we're going to do is we're going to use template files. And we'll take a look into that very soon. But first, let's create the files. So go ahead and create a file based on your operating system, whether you're on Windows or Linux or Mac. Linux and Mac can both use the same script. Windows is going to be different. So I'm going to create both in this lesson. First, I'm just going to create windows-sshconfig.tpl, just like so. And if you're on Windows, Go ahead and grab that script, copy it, and paste it in. So basically what this is doing, and you'll need to replace your username here. Mine, of course, is Derek. Yours probably isn't Derek, but you might be. Go ahead and replace that. And then this is going to add the host, hostname, user, and an identity file, which we didn't see before, but we do require, to our config. Now what we do is we actually specify the host name, the user and identity file from our main.tf. And we're going to take a look at how to do that in the coming lessons. So go ahead and save this file if you're Windows. And if you're Linux, let's go ahead and create that one. So again, you can call this Mac if you want. I'm just going to call Linux SSH config for our file name. And this will serve for either Mac or Linux. And for that, go ahead and copy the script and paste it in. And what we've got here is we're actually catting into home.ssh slash config. And then we've got the host, host name, host name, user, and identity file, just as we did before. So go ahead and save that file if you're Linux. You can also provide both if you utilize both platforms like I do. So once you've done that, that's all we need to cover for this lesson. Go ahead and mark it complete. Come on back to the next one and let's put these files to good use.